Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I uh, believe this is episode number 8. In the last episode, we lost a gang member, Sean Maguire. Oh god, it was so weird because he was actually talking as he died. He got shot in the head if you didn't watch the episode. and I just can't believe how quickly he went out. You know, it was just so, so unexpected. I, I just couldn't believe it. And little Jack was kidnapped. We managed to get him back. So I hope spirits are high in the camp. Stupid Pinkertons caught up with us in our last camp. So we had to flee kind of quick. And yeah, so here we are. We're in a house for the change. We've actually got a, a room upstairs and stuff. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's just get into the episode. Because I can't wait to find out what the next move is. I'm just gonna go up uh, upstairs, check my bedroom because I believe we got a letter it's a nice up there. Nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yeah, lovely, isn't it? My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life, time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Okay, Mary Linton. Uh, she's right here somewhere. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! Oh, there she is. You came! Yeah, I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Oh, she's excited. Yeah, what are you looking at? Yeah, we're looking good. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. Hmm. Sorry. 
I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. Mm. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Yeah, but it could still have that. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah, I'm gonna help you. Please. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, oh she's Arthur, smiling. You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He hmm. said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Why isn't well, she in the gang? No, I didn't. She should be with but, us. Well, I don't know. Be an outlaw, join us. I hope she joins the gang, that'll be cool. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Oh, the music. Standing. He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Uh, do you know, you, you, can, you can tell they've got a history, you know, the way Arthur just... Where they speak to each other and the way Arthur helps, and it's like they've still got that. <clears throat> uh, they said they were young when they were dating, and it's like they've still got that young about them. It's so cool. Giddy up. <laughs> and you can tell she wants Arthur so bad. I know the gang would accept her, no problem. I don't know why she doesn't just come with us. Instead of running off. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Very funny. <laughs> uh, they're always checking her out. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Oh my god. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Fuck off. <sighs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. Mm -hmm. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. <laughs> yeah. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. <laughs> Apology accepted. Yeah. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind. To kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please oh come home. Not so dad. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. You can't look down on nobody. Damn, you looks down on us. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay.
This way. You come in. He went around the corner. Hey, oh, oh, oh. stop a second. You're too close. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Between the crates. Come here, oh, shit. quick. Oh, oh. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry. Heated moment. Do you think he saw us? <laughs> I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? <laughs> Damn you! The things you do. Across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Not that way. What? Well, he's right there. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, no, Mr. Gillis. Was Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. No. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Shit, he's running. God damn it. I'll just take this horse. Right, let's get him. Let's get the brooch. Got to impress hey, Mary, right? Stop that coach. Um, go, go, go. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. Uh, wish you had Genevieve. This horse is almost half tired already. Come on, where's my horse? I think it's still in town and it's not responding. Left to right, right. I'm so close. God damn it. Jump to wagon. What the hell? Right, okay. Um, what do we do now? Move towards the driver. Ah, he just bailed. Okay, where are we going?
Let's get the brooch. Get out of there. Okay, Genevieve's here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. <sighs> we can afford 50. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. <laughs> Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why, well, yes. Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Hmm? Uh, oh, of course. I'm going to accept. Yes, let's go. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was <laughs> fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> oh, she sounds excited. I wonder what's going to happen here. There we go. Oh, she's smiling. Welcome. Wow, she's pretty. <laughs> and thank you Arthur's smiling. I oh my god. Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. Yeah. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not? Are you <laughs> in a rush, Arthur? Show ever assembled. No, no, no. Prepare uh, for the grandest excitement come on, get of the show. pure curiosity. Oh, yeah, come Fire, on. Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the oh, winter the better than any packed larder or root cellar oh, it's light. full of canned goods. This enter. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Oh, a band. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Uh, I'm gonna head and make a move. Go on, Arthur, you got it. No. What are you doing? Uh, we'll have to try that again in a bit. She wants to mind it. Oh, they look so happy. I wish they told Vans though or something. We're not making it one move. No, not yet. Arthur's nervous. So happy together. Oh, oh, flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you, you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Arthur. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange well, women. All right. You. Are about to do both, <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Stop it! Oh, there it. Get a little wow. jealous. from the curtain. <laughs> Catch <her fire! laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, they're spooky these old theaters, aren't they? It's weird. Don't burn yourself! 
<laughs> ah, but I still can't make a move on the ball. Have we blown it? Have we blew it? Is she okay? Still can't make a move. Excellent. Can't see it, it's too dark. Oh, there we go. Well, she's still smiling. But we can't make a move, what the hell? Oh, enchanting, mesmerizing. She Come is on. truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare yeah. for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris! Jealous again. Let's cheer him. Oh, one last cheer and let's get out of here. Can we cheer? Nope. Okay, we're going to leave now.
take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Oh. I can't lie to you. No. I'm the only man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. Yeah, my turn. That's another story. <laughs> I'll write you. Oh, Mary. Oh, I hope we don't lose her. She wants him bad. Okay, we're back at camp. Hoseo. Oh, it's not a camp, it's a house. Well, it is it is a camp. Alright, let's go and see uh Hoseo, there he is. Uncle telling the story. Right. Hoseo. Hoseo? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, we are all dressed swankers. Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to <laughs> quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> wow. Now that's a house. Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. So that come, come this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a very good friend. Oh, I'm walking towards the window. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, wow. Mr. Bronte, All he the has maids a, a thing, servants. You know, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony. Wow. What's the plan, Dutch? Ah, the angry cow 
boys, you have arrived! And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I'm a hero, they say, but that this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Trolley station doesn't <clears throat> sound like a big hall. I mean, we've been robbing banks. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. I suppose at this point, we, anything will do. Let's go and greet. Right, what's the plan? Dutch? Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out of old Cornwall and what's his name? Milton knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Mingle with the guests. Good evening, sir. Oh, let's just have a look at the food. Get me a bloody drink, will you? A small Ew, fancy. Just big enough for me to swim. And not eat? You know. <laughs> well, hello, gentlemen. Oh, it's Dutch. Featherstone Chambers. Pleased to meet you. Featherstone Chambers. Philistine is all that, Marie? No, I am quite that much of a Philistine. Besides which, the seal of Chateauguay, the real ones. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are 
quite the gentleman. <laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hell. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> oh my god. I should not. All right, where is this guy? Oh, where are you going? Gentlemen, I hope you're happy. Oh, that's him. What? Wonderful to see you again. Lemieux, <laughs> this intellectual here was just insulting From me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Hey, what we'll say you and me cool off? Yeah, let's put him out the back somewhere. Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. <laughs> then you can rejoin the party. Hello, sir. Hello. Evening all. Hello. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> my lord, they're fantastic. Wow, that's beautiful. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me. Monsieur, please. Please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes, we'll find out what. Wow, I want to watch these pilots. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, where did he go? There he is. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Where did that other dude go? Oh, there he is. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Shit. <clears throat> Jesus. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you what? are? What? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. 
What a piece of shit. A final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Oh, wow. Who the hell does he think he is? I mean, yeah, he's probably rich, but Jesus. Okay, let's follow him upstairs. I want to kill this guy if I get the chance. I don't have my gun though. Oh, yeah. Is he going to come back out this way? Should I move? I think I should move. Where's he gone out? He's still in there. Retrieve the ledger. Has he left? There he is. <sighs> Get in. Inspect. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Oh, what's this? We need um, the office of the mayor, city of Saint Denis. I think we should return to Dutch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Where's Dutch? Let's get downstairs. The stairs this way. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. The city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. Oh, that so sounds... Leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. So we got a few leads from here. Yeah, give me my fucking gun. Here back. comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's <clears throat> next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. 
We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. <laughs> I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Mm, I'm in that trolley. Okay, back in St. Denise, there's a stranger over here. We're gonna head over and see what that's all about. We're gonna go and see Trelawney. Oh, there he is, Trelawney. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. I forgot about that. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault. His grandfather. A very good choice, sir. That's cool. Jealous people. You can see the. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields. Come <laughs> to new money! Thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in. And you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, mm. don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we... You, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you could my get in this way as well. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Um, change her. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. And learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, I think we look fine how we are. Um, old facial hair. Make him look like a prince, sir. Facial hair. Um, extra clean shaven. There we go. Oh, that is extra clean. Cool. Okay, let's go. We're looking there, very smooth. Smart. Come on, let's. Get to the top. <clears throat> I've arranged some transportation for us. What? This? Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. Oh, right, okay. That's cool. Who's this dude? Never George, seen him before. To the Grand Gorgon, please. George. Grand Gorgon, sir. Okay. Hello, George. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win he up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. <laughs> You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? You all right by the way, driver? <laughs> oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, 
If Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Her Strauss. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Mm. Wow, look at this boat. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Don't have any on there. Good time. The table's await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat <clears throat> without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Yeah. <laughs> now, He's a good con artist, a though. Cocktail? Right, sit at the poker table. Okay. Feel free to join a game, sir. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Okay, let's do it. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips okay. already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. Well, we aim to please, sir. Strauss, he's saying so, no. How are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all full. fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not... Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> 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 to hell with it. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. I'm new money. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but uh, I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. Strauss. I don't think Such you a have a future on the stage. Hey, you sound calm. just like my wife. Yep. I'll call. Um, okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. But well, we still got a pair. 
Strauss is saying, yeah, he says do it. Call. <clears throat> Interesting. Hey, cowgirl. We win. Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. <laughs> Meaning Well, I heard well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I gotta watch. Look at you. An expensive one, real fine. Swiss, a Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. <clears throat> so you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. For the kings, wow, it's our Let's night. Not waste any more time here. All in. <laughs> really? Don't worry, All sir. In? Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Strauss? Yeah. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not oh, good enough. Oh, shit. Shit. He's got a pair of aces. He's uh -oh. got three of a kind. Yes, you what? little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. <sighs> Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Yes. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Oh, it's Javier. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Come with me, sir. I forgot about him. It's Javier. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. Wow, I think is... you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> oh, nice one. That gun. Yeah, give me take that gun. gun, Arthur. Give me that thing. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. How can I get in? Ah, oh, loot. There we go. Idiot, huh? What the? Whoa. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Well, a few decks up, I don't think. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Yes. Nice. Now let's get out of now here. Let's Come get on. going. Let's yeah. go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded nope. like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. 
Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! Yeah, I just that normal. You had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> We've already <laughs> blended in. Ah, uh, look, there's your friend. friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> oh, Avius took his uniform. He's come to shit. His face. <laughs> Let's go. What are we supposed to do now? Huh? Get out of here. Oh, how do you suggest? I don't know. My show. Silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gun to. Where are we going? We're just gonna jump over. We got a boat. What about the alligator? Just jump over. Shit, this wasn't a good idea. We're just swimming for it. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. Wow, that looks like and a lot. This watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. <laughs> all right, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, Strauss had his eyes on it then for a second, didn't he? Fucker. Six thousand, three thousand to the gang, seven fifty. Oh, we got a lot of cash. Yeah, that's more like it. Let me get some ammo while I'm here. Welcome, sir. Come in and have a browse. I can see you look after your fireball. Thanks, Mister. Well, let's go and see what this dude wants. He's asking for donations for poor people. Yo, what's up, you, dude? Kind, uh, sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Yeah, let's give. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post. For shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. 
Help the poor. Eh? Oh, come on, oh, just let me through. So many people. You are treating people very bad. Alright, uh. Oh, it's the fence, dude. Really? He's high, he's got slaves. Hi there, Mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? I'm gonna threaten him. Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir. I yeah, sure. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Got this book right here. Big one. Red one. Oh. Has he just left? Yeah, he fucking left the rap. Spanish. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Oh, no. Ayúdanos. What? Free him. Por favor. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Por, por favor. Free. No, the hacky. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. Come on, let's get out of here. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. I should check. Come on. See if I can rub You'll this. Be safe soon. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking lost on him for that. This guy, this guy had slaves in his cellar. I should gain on her for that. Twenty-one dollars, right? Come on, let's go. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Uh, this way. They come Good in. To see you again. Thank you for your help. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, uh, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Um, give it to the poor, take payments. Now, nah, we'll let him keep it. Give got, it to the poor, We got brother. enough money. Thank you. I will. <clears throat> like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Oh, Genevieve is just like blocking the track and having a shit. Holy shit. All the traffic. Come here. Get out the road. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. That's good, girl. 
Right, there's a question mark nearby. Uh, let's go and see what it is. We'll go to the yellow question mark. Excuse me. There he is. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Doesn't well, sound like uh, To be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, I <clears> saw <throat> you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. Oh! And at the party, you were upstairs. Yeah, they were you on the... Great powers of observation. They were on That's the cliff sides watching us coming in. Are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. Sounds I'm like sure. us. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty <clears throat> signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, hold no, on. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Interesting. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Let's see what's going on around camp. Feels like I've been away for so long. There he is. Come here, Arthur. You're not exactly dressed for cold weather. Um. So it's a city bank, and then we're off. It's what you wanted. It's what we need. If we can manage it. City banks are hard. But we got a lot of guns. You think we can do it? I hope so. <laughs> I really do. Well, it's his and Dutch's idea, so... I hope he thinks we can do it. Right, no. let me get something to eat real quick. Bring me something. 
in soon if you can, Arthur. Um, I haven't done this all this because I never cook it. Uh, Very good. We were getting low. Hey. Good job, oh, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. Hello. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. <sighs> you smell. He's drunk. He drunk. It's cologne. I just had a few nips, Arthur. I'm not drunk. I'm just happy. <laughs> you look drunk to me, you Uncle. Know, you... I don't have time for this right now. Well, that's me told. You doing okay? Any luck with Bronte? <sighs> We're working on it. Really? I was. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's Italian food. It's... Mr. Morgan! Place. Morgan! Reverend? Does he want to speak? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Tomorrow we begin reading again. Strange. Uh. Come here, Arthur. Ah, uh, let's go see what Michael wants. Micah. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old misery guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Ben, Charles? Come on. Oh. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill? This is a death sentence. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. Yeah, you're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. You can always leave. Well, nobody's stopping you. Yeah, exactly. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like hmm. John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I don't trust you. I've been you. talking to Dutch. It feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. Ooh. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. 
Mm, you should cut you loose. Are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? Mm, I'm why have you sure tried? You've tried. Yeah. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger out, Camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, that's different. Yeah, the family. Uh, uh, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind mm, of girl. Too bad she's with John. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. Okay, here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Up again, huh? Uh, I'll just go on here. Some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. So we make some good money. Here. Oh, I can see him already. But just between the trees down there. We're coming. This better go right. I mean, it's Micah. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. There's two more. Oh, shot his horse. Yeah, that's what you get for hiding behind your horse. For cover, you know. Find a bloody tree. Bill is the halfway. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Hmm. Well, that was easy, for once. How much did we get? Uh, $50, is that it? I thought I was expecting a lot more with Micah. Well, this dude just fell off the saddle. Uh, Hi, need a doctor. You okay, dude? All right, friend, all right. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna help me? Uh, you gotta. Uh, uh, oh, he you looks gotta. in bad shape. Please, do something. Uh, uh. Not to bleed on me. Oh, his arm. His Come arm on. looks really chewed up. There's alligators out here. Jesus. Let's get him to the doctor. See what happens. I was gonna head back to Cambo, 
Looks like we're doing this. We're nearly there. Just hold on a little longer, all right? <sighs> Must stay awake. Come on, we can make it. I hope this dude doesn't Where? die on me. Where am I? We're in Saint Denise. Don't you give up now? We're close to the it's doctor strong. office. I'm dying. Oh shit. This is it. No, dude, all gone. Hang in there. Yeah, what do you do then? I didn't do nothing to him. I'm trying to save his life. Dude, we're here. We are here. Let's get him off. Alright, friend. Alright, we're at the doctor. I need a doctor. Oh, okay. Quickly, bring him in here. Okay, cool. Oh, we could have held the door open. Right here, and sit him down in this chair. Oh. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Oh. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Oh, really? We can I oh oh sorry it's come to this. Oh uh. ah, Jesus Oh I don't rub your face. It doesn't even got gloves on. Wow, oh, he's a dodgy back in the day. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, we're leaving. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That's made me feel yeah, a bit bad man. But you'll pull through. Well, at least we saved his life. Jesus. Yeah. Hey, there, man. Where's my ass? Yeah. Sorry. Hey there, girl. Okay. Back at camp. Uh, it's 2 a.m. I think it's time we've got some sleep. Oh, Uncle's still up. Oh, here we go. Where is that? Rustling. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Who's cows? It's drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, he ain't all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. <laughs> I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. I'll give you 
60% of the take. How many oh. cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Uncle in the middle of the night. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows. Just past the road's turnoff. So how'd you find out about this place? I've been hanging around the saloon in Rhodes a bit. Rhodes? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down <laughs> drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> you sure you ought to be hanging around Rhodes after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah! It's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Oh, come Maybe on. Maybe we should cut you open. How old Count is the it? rings of whiskey. Now I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you. You've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing yeah. girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm going to see out my days. We're going to cut up well, this way. I'll believe it when I see it. All right. Let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come on, let's take a closer look. Wow, I love Uncle's horse. Don't over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Uncle with a plan. Hmm. Oh, I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. Shit. You hear that? Get your gun out. Shit, oh, oh. Fuck. I got you, I got you. Well, come on, you, you better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. Picking skills. There's my picking skills. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Yeah, yeah. Keep moving. Go, go. This is actually Let's kind go. of fun. This, <laughs> Uncle, you yeah. idiot. Have we sell them all or one more? Up, up. We've even got cowbells on them. Better not shoot a cow. Move it. What are we gonna do with them all? Though that's I don't know. Move it up. Move. Come on, you silly cow. Yeah. That way. Let's go. <clears throat> Now what, Uncle? Yeah, yeah. Back to the horse. What the? What the hell? I'm being robbed! Damn you, goddamn robbers! Come. Uh, uh, ooh. See? He knocked himself out. <laughs> I seen that. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Right, what now? Herd animals by moving behind the group to encourage them to di desired direction. <laughs> yeah, we know after that. Clemens Cove. Oh, okay. 
So far, so good, Uncle. I suppose it's on there. Keep moving. Whoa. I'm going to head over there and see if I can correct this. Oh yeah, they're going out a bit, aren't they? Uh... <laughs> that one's stuck. Well, you can shoot your weapon to make them move a bit faster and stuff, but... I don't know if we should make any noise doing this. side uncle uh, uh. are they going the wrong way left a bit down that way that way are we there oh is that Claire Davis yeah it's Claire Davis Hmm, dealt with this dude before. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. <laughs> yeah. This old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200. Friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. God, they always <sighs> fuck us, these two. Mm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. There. Don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> Like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Oh, I wanna go on with Uncle. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Oh, I got sixty dollars. He only took his forty percent. Right, we're gonna go and get some sleep. Look at Lenny. Ah, right, Lenny. Sleeping, Arthur. You were snoring, that's all. You're interrupting my beauty rest. Are you ready for Tahiti, Mr. Pearson? Tahiti? Short? Tahiti? Oh. I've never been to Tahiti. I've been to Bali and Java. There is a man there with a body no bigger than a coconut. <laughs> Speaks seven languages. <laughs> okay. How to go in town. With Abigail, anything is possible. Best actress I ever saw. Really? Oh, sure. She had half the town believing we were real estate investors from New England. Everybody is following her. This after she placed a little explosive device. When we go back, there'll be an almighty bang. So you think this big job's gonna work? Get everything packed. We're leaving. I I we'll go in. I really do. This place is not for me. I kind of like it. Wow, we're we're leaving again. 
after the bank job. Okay. And everyone's talking about Tahiti. There he is. Old Arthur. Oh, uh, and the battle Rescan. again. <sighs> the strong, silent, manly one of us. <sighs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck up piece of shit. God damn you. <laughs> Take it easy, Miss Karen. Yeah, she's been getting drunk a lot lately. That was funny with um, Uncle rustling last night. Let's see what he says. Uncle. Had a seat in a swig, Arthur. Uh, we're gonna sit though. Looking forward to that grub. It's coming! It's coming! Well, at least you're a happy drunk. <laughs> Happiness is important, Arthur. Because he made forty dollars last night with us, he's gone out and bought a bottle of beer. <laughs> Let's go and see what Charles wants. No, Charles is quiet. Hey, hey, what are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine, and I'll make you some. Moonshine. Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh, I've got moonshine. Yeah. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Cool. Sorry, can't see for try. Right, uh... See who's over here. Mary Beth, let's see what she wants. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? Well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Head for Rose. And quick! Oh, yeah, Tilly's no. been took now. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Thank you. <laughs> I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappeared. 
Have you seen that boy cheering since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I haven't seen Kieran in a while, actually. That's weird. But she just said that. I wish oh, she... Christ! I knew I should have driven. Yeah. Hurry up! Yeah, where's Kieran? <clears throat> I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Just pull up. face of yours and I know that for the right inducement a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind now get out of here oh now you keep saying that but you don't mean nothing by I it I said you said Ooh. your last word well what are you waiting for get in there and find our girl <laughs> damn okay Locked. What the hell? What's Tilly? Shinny? Oh shit! Fuck. Cut free. I was out of dead eye. Jeez, okay. keep doing that. Oh, what did you do to her? Don't matter what you thought, it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. <laughs> now catch that bastard. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Right, get after them. I think I'm gonna go out. Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you! You got me! Yeah. They're heading down the hill to the water! Oh, there they are! Come on. All right! I think that last one's the boss! Lasso him and we'll take him! Yeah, That's we will. Go on, rope that bastard. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Okay, okay, let's get him. He's right there. I'll reach. <laughs> Come here. That's it. Now make sure you time up real good. Oh, well, I can time up all right. Make these nice and tight. Been tacking Tilly. Right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice uh, little chat. Yeah, let's I'm gonna grab head him. over there now to check she's okay. Oh, okay. With pleasure. Get the fuck on here. Now the fun starts. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. <laughs> Funny bastard. Who are Shut you? Shut the coward? fuck up. Funny bastard. Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn... Shut the hell up. <laughs> what the hell? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you... All right. Here's your man. Um... No. Right, okay. Yeah, Tilly. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. 
She's mine. She ate yours. You know, an old friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. I gotta Finish agree with Miss Grimshaw. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> 